scripture first. Right. Give me okay. Sirach 29, 21. This is the book of this is the book of Sirach. Chapter 29, verse 21. But notice all these dudes, the Most High's dealing with. Yeah, the polite because, and nature boy. If you notice, the Most High's clearing the path for the truth. Right. Dr. York, Yahweh bin Yahweh, polite, nature boy, all these dudes. Yeah. All these, all these self-proclaimed leaders, these cult type figures, the Most High moving them out of the way. Mm, yep. Because what? He's making, he's paving way just for the truth. Mm -hmm. All these other bug out doctrines is going to be smashed. Yeah. Read, King. Sirach chapter 29 verse 21 Good. The chief thing for life is water The Lord said the chief thing for life is water Good. And bread And bread Good. And clothing And what? And clothing Chief meaning principle or main things The main things you need for life are what? Is water Water Good. And bread And bread Good. And clothing And clothing Negro <laughs> You're not supposed to be trying to be on yeah. YouTube butt naked yeah, tell That it. nigga talk about Yo, I'm naked because that's my natural body. Right. That's why I'm calling myself Nature Boy. Say, so I'm making love to. I don't even want to do the gesture. Yeah. I'm making love to my woman, and then I pull my. You know what? Right. There's a sister there. Salaki and sister. Salaki sister. Pull the rod. So, <laughs> I pull it out. Yeah. And then I let my son play. With yeah. It. What? Like, yeah, yeah. He said that. Yeah. That's I take bath with my kids. I'm naked with my kids. I have sex in front of my kids. I'd never be ashamed of sex. My son be breastfeeding and I'll be making love to his mom. That's me, bro. That's how I get down around kids. I try to keep their purity. I don't want to take their purity away by covering myself up. They're going to be ashamed and cover they self up. And I'm pure at heart. So you can think in your mind, if I let another kid here, I'm going to have to change the way I am so that your kid could be comfortable around me. No, I'm going to be naked as fuck in front of your kids. My son comes up and grabs my penis. I let him grab my penis. I had sex with his mom. I'm making love to his mother. After I'm done, I'm laying there chilling. He grabbed my penis. And he's playing with my penis. I let that happen. That nigga is finished, huh? Yeah. I ain't want to say it. Chill out, sis. Chill out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the man that I pulled my joint out. <laughs> <laughs> and I let my son play with it yeah. when I finish having sex with my woman. Nah. See, I said, this nigga is gone. See, he, he tried to, to make it seem, all right, having sex with your woman, that seemed, all right, somebody could tip their hat to that. Right. But then you put out your real feeling. Right. And then I took it out, and my little boy's son came in. That's, right. the, that, yeah, that's what that's you really got to, yeah. yeah. You trying to, you trying yeah. to. Uh, you trying to rope a dope us. Yeah, yeah. You trying to do an Ali on us. Right. You trying to rope a dope us. You trying to, you lining us up. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah, he talking about making love to his wife. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. nigga, you get to the real nigga. Yeah, and then this is what I did. Right. And then I put up, and then my son and crawled my up, son, and, and he grabbed and it up. And this would have really went yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Niggas, <laughs> nigga, you deserve life in prison just for that. Right, right, right. And right. just for that, man. Right. And before anybody gets simple in the comments, he <laughs> laughing to keep from crying. Right. Right, because it's, it's sick. A sick. It's a sick nigga, here, man. But but guess what? You gotta it is it's even deeper. Right. It shows you where this society is at. Right. Come on, man. I don't I don't I barely make out in front of my children. Right. I barely, you know what I'm saying? I let's go on. I'm a I'm a damn deal with my woman in front of my children. Right. Man. And then you know on top even of if that my child is young, they they fall asleep in the bed. Listen, we about to get busy, yo. Yeah, tell put my to child go. in their bed. Or right. if it's a baby, put them in a crib. Yeah. Whatever the case may be. I'm not finna smash my wife and my child is laying right there. Right. Come on, man. Right. These it, niggas, nigga, you deserve life in prison just for that. And, and furthermore, what's even worse about that, you grooming your son to play with rods. Exactly. So exactly. when he gonna know how to stop? Now listen, listen. If your son go visit a relative. Right. Or even you say, uh, uh, let's say a daycare. Right. You and your wife want to go out, you, then you take them to a babysitter. The damn husband's a pedophile. Right, right. Right? Ooh, we got a little child we're watching? Right. Take the child in a room. What if this strange man takes his rod? Your yeah. son's going to start playing yeah, with Yeah, right. You already showed him. Yeah, him. yeah. What type of sick nigga, man? Just throw, throw that nigga under the jail, man. Right, God. Read, King. Read. Reading on. Verse 22. Oh, oh. No, I'll read it again still... from the top. 
Cyrax chapter 29 verse 21. Good. The chief thing for life. And I never, even in the world, I never, that naked spirit, man. Right, come on, come when, when I got locked up, I was like, niggas got to put some clothes on. Right. They like, yo, yo, son, you going to cause a riot in here. You don't right. know how jail go? Niggas right. was naked in jail. Right. That's what Jake told me. Because <laughs> I'm like, yo, you know, my first time really, like, uh, when I went to Brooklyn House. Right. And really, I mean, uh, uh, Manhattan House. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, niggas just, yo, what's up? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And. One time my man did that, I said, yo, nigga, if you don't go put some clothes on, this was, I was knee deep in the world. Right. Even in the world, that naked spirit, only one I want to see naked is my woman. Right. I didn't really want to see my children naked like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But the man had that naked spirit. Read again from the top, brother. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 29, verse 21. Now, now, why would the Most High say these are the chief things for life? Right. Meaning these are the principal things. So one of the principal things a synonym to the word chief is principle or right. main. One of the main things for life is clothes, nigga. Right. Right, read what you got. The chief thing for life God. is water. Is what? Is water. Is water, come on. And bread. And bread, go ahead. And clothing. And clothing, come on. And a house. And a house, come on. Right. To cover shame. A house to cover shame because clothing covers the shame of your, your naked body. Right. So why you this nigga? You know Nature saying? boy. But man. that's what our people want, man. Yeah. That's what our people want. Give me us Psalms 96 and 5. God. They want to be like the other nations. They want to idolize a man. Right. And no women, they simple as hell. Mm -hmm. He's my husband and he teaches me about the energy of the sun. Oh my God. Uh, that uh, nigga teach you to go get a PPP loan during uh, COVID and you took all your damn money. He, he, he took your 40 racks you got from the PPP loan. Oddly enough, uh, Nature Boy was inspired by Polite. Right. Huh? He he took the baton from Polite Pause yeah, yeah. and ran with the baton and then expounded on it. Like he said, "Well, I'm gonna take them in the I'm jungle." Take it to the jungle. Yeah, yeah, and then I'm gonna have them isolated. He took. He even sort of admitted to that that he took Polite's idea of that black woman is God, and but then he kind of flipped it and said he's God. Remember, so, um, um, remember, uh, uh, Polite was like, yeah. I like to have hot, naked, monkey sex with my women. Yeah. And so it's all along yeah. the same line. Yeah, yeah. They, nigga, why are you even talking about being naked, nigga? Right. I don't want to hear that, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, man, but that's that's what goes on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what goes on. That's why even when um when Israel got caught slipping with the golden calf, right. the most I said what he made them naked to their shame. Right. It wasn't actual. All right, brother Shalom. All right. Peace. All right, Shalom. All right. All right, Shalom. Right, yeah, so it didn't mean literal nakedness, right. it was using nakedness as a reference to shame. Right. So there you go, man. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot going on in the world, man, you know what I'm saying? Had to get out here, man, and Satan been hindering us from Canada. I know, I yeah, know. Been raining and been right. putting blocks he on the camp. Yeah. I'm down. like, damn, I've been in New York like three weeks, now I need some camp. Right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I mean, like, well, Saturday was a new moon, but it was soaked anyway. Yeah. If it ain't been the weather, it's been a damn feast day or just mm. something's going on. Right. Right, but um, all praise to the most high because there's been a lot going on, man. Right. Give me Amos 3. Oh. Give me Amos the third chapter. I'm like, damn, it's a, and it's a, you could do a sit down all day, but it's something about the spirit of right. God. You know what right, I'm right. Oh, it's just a difference, you know. Yeah. Because the sit downs are good. Don't get me wrong. You can do sit downs on the current events and bring it out, but it's it just, the spirit of prophecy is just on a whole different level. Right. Even if we don't have a hundred people standing in front of us, it's, right. it's still in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Give me uh, Amos 3 and start at 6. Drop the songs. Uh, what we had in song? Oh, 96 and 5? Yeah, drop that. We'll get back to that. All right, come on. Uh, Nature Boy. Nature Boy, yeah. Right, now he, he going to the perfect place for all that. Right. You going to jail, nigga. He, he, you he. You going to run into Fleece Johnson in there. Yeah, <laughs> he, he got, he got overtime. They gave him life. He yeah, didn't even, yeah, yeah, he didn't even, yeah. cause usually life is relegated to some people that took a life, right. but he didn't even, he didn't even murder anybody. He didn't even murder nobody. Yeah, that's how off he was. You got, he got life, I, I don't even think I've ever seen that, life on sexual deviancy. Man. Right, and, and yeah. that's the most high. Yeah. yeah. That's the most high just showing us how not to be. Right. All these dudes, man, the most high, like, we tried to warn them, and a right. lot of them, I don't really know what Nature Boy stance was on Israel. Right. But um, a lot of these guys like polite shot up the Bible. Yeah. That's what you're telling us when you tell us that somebody gonna come out the sky. Desert Eagle. Don't 
all stopped till the fight was destroyed. <laughs> Great shooting, Nisu. Hold on, can't see the, the rest of the sentence. Too much fucking holes in it. Look at that shit. That's right! Now it's the Holy Bible. That's right! <laughs> Clearly the Holy Bible right now. Act like y'all never seen this before. We saw this February 8th. It's just gonna be worse. It's gonna be worse. Look what we did. The Bible or the bullet. A lot of these guys mock the truth. They mock the Most High. They mock Yahweh Shah. They mock us. They mock us for being on the street. They mock us for the fringes. Right. So, you know, the most I was like, yeah, I'm the, I'm the master of my career. Right, God. Okay, can you tell me your full name and date of birth? Michael, you know, Michael Eugene Oak Jr., August 10th, 1983. All right, thank you. You were originally charged under case number F21-14438 with the following charges. Lewd and lascivious molestation on a child, a second degree felony, punishable by up to 15 years state prison. Count two was lewd and lascivious molestation on a child, 12 to 16 years, a second degree felony, punishable by up to 15 years state prison. Lewd and lascivious conduct on a child under 16 by a defendant 18 or over, a second degree felony, punishable by up to 15 years state prison. I am the master of my, you want to talk about my career, I am the master of making my career. Right. Read, King. Uh, did you say Amos 1? Amos 3 and 6. The book of Amos chapter 3 verse 6. Go ahead. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? Go ahead. And the people not be afraid. And the people not be afraid. Go ahead. Shall they be evil in the city? Shall there be evil in the city? Go ahead. And the Lord had not done it. And the Lord have not done that evil. Anything you, you see, good or evil, have not the Lord done it? Go ahead. Verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing. Come on. But he reveal it, his secret, unto his servants. The prophet. The Lord will do nothing but he reveal his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Right, right come on. Verse 8. The lion had roared. The lion had roared. Go ahead. Who will not fear? Who will not fear? Go ahead. The Lord God has spoken. The Lord God has spoken. Go ahead. Who can but prophesy? Meaning the Lord made things happen in the earth. Who can but prophesy? You see everything that's happening in the earth. You're like, damn, itch it, man. Damn, gotta get out the gap. So much going on, right? Right, go ahead. Verse 9, published in the palaces. Oh, uh, no, read uh, 8 again. So like, verse 8, the lion had roared. Come on. Who will not fear? The Lord said the lion had roared. Who will not fear? Go ahead. The Lord God has spoken. How does the Lord speak? Through the prophecies. 